Howdy folks and welcome back to the channel. It's Kato again with another Transformers review. Today I'm going to take a look at Transformers Studio Series 86 number 14 Junk Heap. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're going to roll the intro and get started. Like always, the first thing I want to do is take a look at the packaging, and it is the Studio Series 86, the movie packaging that we've come to know, but uh, no window, so windowless or no plastic window anyway. I was at Target today. I just wanted to look around. I noticed that some folks were finding sludge and junk heap out there, and I got lucky. Junk heap was sitting on the shelf, just the one, the lone junk heap that I got to walk away with. The box is a bit damaged, uh, but it's it's going to go in the trash anyway. Transformers the movie, 8614 junk heap, Transformers Generations, Transformers the movie, junk heap number 8614 with some artwork, Voyager class. Uh, by the way, the price hike is real. Oof, this was $37 after tax US. Junk Heap with a, a big screen inspired scale detail backdrop. It's the planet Junkion, I believe, back there. I'm not going to use that either. Backdrop included uh, Junkion Dance Party. 22 steps to transform. I'm assuming it's just like Rekgar to transform. So let's get him out of the box. First thing you'll notice when you get the box out is you get another one of the Studio Series backdrops. I don't have room for these. I say it every time. It's going to go in the trash, but it does look good if you have room to display it. You also get his axe weapon. I believe it is the exact same one that came with Rekgar. I'm looking over across at him right now because I'll use him for a comparison. I think it's the exact same one. Spins around like a pinwheel. Pinwheel spinning around. And obviously you'll get the instructions, uh, probably going to be pretty easy, very similar, if not exactly the same, other than a couple, I think there might be a step or two that's a little different than Rekgar, but overall pretty much the same, so I, I'm going to buzz through the transformation here in the video. And that leads us right to Junk Heap, and let me tell you, I, I'm not real big on remolds unless... Unless it's enough of a different character to really matter. Like the repaint thing, I'm, I'm just not completely sold on repaints. I know folks that just live and die for repaints and retools. This one, however, I love the Junkions. They're fantastic. And there's enough retooling here to make it seem like a unique character. And once I show Rekgar side by side with him and go around, you'll see exactly what I mean. But he looks phenomenal look at that head sculpt with the orange glasses the orange square right above his head you've got those bullhorn uh let's see do these move yeah they move around to the front and back i don't think they yeah that's perfect that's great i'm sure that has to do with transformation but that head sculpt i love it of course there's a ball joint there so you can wiggle around and move uh 360 is a little limited his little horns hit the back of his glass of uh, the windshield there in transformation but i mean more movement than you'll probably ever need while you're posing going down you've got the brown on his chest the what is what is it gray running down dark gray a lighter gray and orange right there you've got rotation at the waist and an ab crunch that can be used for that was from transformation the arms you've got the orange spikes here love that yellow gold right there brown arms all that orange here side pieces here which are different from Rekgar, and i'll show that too it's basically his guns he doesn't have any separate guns in the packaging but these are most definitely weapons here on the side same thing on this side you've got spikes and a shield over here rather than a gun saddlebags coming down for the hips you've got legs that are they are they look to be the same tooling on the legs, just different color. Uh, the feet are a little different too, I'll show that. Up, back, knee bend, uh, forward knee bend if you need that. Ankle tilt, rocker, is there a rocker? Yeah, on this bottom hinge there, just like Rekgar. The wheels just plug in here, just like on Rekgar, they slide over the spikes and just plug into the legs. I mean, you've got outward movement, 
you can take those off and get a little further if you want but there's plenty with that left on there and the wrist i don't remember yeah we've got rotation at the wrist but they do not open and close i think it looks good i did not have that plugged in far enough but you saw that work as a weapon on the back like that cleans up nice little backpack but it makes sense with him very good looking figure i like it uh let's do some comparisons there he is beside studio series 86 gnaw there he is with studio series 86 cup and hot rod i can't remember what's a studio series and what's not anymore so that's cup and hot rod you know what i'm talking about and most importantly, there he is beside Studio Series 86 Rekgar, and that's where you start seeing the differences. So this whole upper chest piece is new. Um, the head is obviously new. Shoulders are new. The arms look, yeah, the arms are new. Of course, the side pieces here on the arms are new. The crotch is the same. It looks like lower body it is majority the same, other than the top of his toes here, where Rekgar has this little hump. This is flat. So most of the molding from the waist down is the same and the stomach, but the upper chest and arms and head seem to be all different. And I'm sure the back is a bit different too. It looks to be a lot wider than Rekgar. So enough differences to genuinely feel like you're getting a different character. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they want to rise up while you try. And I was right. The transformation is essentially the same as Rekgar, so it's not super difficult. The only real additional steps you take are swiveling these side pieces around and tabbing them into the back of the legs here. But this is, I've said it before on here, I am a sucker for motorcycle transformers. And so I had to get this. This was a no-brainer for me. This is is a super fun transformation. Rec R was one of my favorites from Studio Series 86, and this is no different. I love that you've got the kickstands here. Uh, the wheels, of course, there's parts forming. There always was with Rec R. It doesn't really bother me. You've got the uh, speedometer and everything, the instrument cluster there on the front that's on the back of uh, Junk Heap's head. You can see his little bullhorns tucked in here the head tucked neatly in there it looks great i know i did the upgrade kit for rekgar i don't see a need for me to do it with this i will probably keep him in his alt mode for the duration just because i'll probably have rekgar sitting on top which i'm going to try here in a minute it looks great i love the muted colors i think the gas tank looks awesome it's wider than rekgar like we said before this is, it's really, really a fun figure. And Hasbro did, did a fantastic job with it. It looks really, really good. There is a spot here that the instructions show storing the weapon in with this little tab right here, but it hits the tire. Unless I'm doing something wrong, uh, you can sit it to the side a little bit there. Um, is there anywhere else it can go? Uh, not, I don't know. You guys can probably figure something out. You don't need me for that. But eh, I'll probably just give it to Rekgar and let him have two weapons. But it looks good. You can see the engine in there. Maybe it could use a little bit more color inside here. But nothing that I'm too worried about. I think it looks, 
<laughs> looks fantastic. In case you're curious, absolutely, Rec Guard can ride Junk Heap. There is a little butt tab and butt port there. There's a port on Rec Guard and a tab on the seat. It's a little annoying to get in there, but you can make it work. He looks a little bit big on here, but if I remember right, he looked a little big on it in the cartoon too. So it's a little off size, right? But it works. And there he is with the only comparison that really matters. Rekgar and Junk Heap. And again, you can see the change in parts. You've got these side pieces here that were on his arm, obviously that cover up uh, this gap right here. It still has this weird gap between the gas tank and I guess what would be the uh, the front, front fender. Uh, you can see that the chest piece looks much different in alt mode. The upper uh, windshield area and instrument panel and front fender are completely different where you've got this typical Rekgar looking piece here. You have a much more square piece there and the gas tanks on the junk heap model is much wider. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty obvious what they changed. You've got the shoulders that look different there. There is a lot more paint on the engine of Rekgar than there is on junk heap so that's something that's missing but overall you can see the little butt tab i was talking about for sitting wreck are on there overall i think he looks good i do not regret this in the least so there's my review of studio series 86 junk heap and what is there to say about it that wasn't already said about wreck they're virtually the same or at least the same enough that you know what you're getting into when you find this guy on the shelf you're getting a wreck retool the difference is they're worth it. I love the different molding, the, the gas tank, the front end, um, the arms, the upper chest, all plenty of differences to make this a worthy individual purchase, even if you don't have Rekgar. Uh, the downsides, not a lot as far as transformation and sculpt goes. I mean, like I said, you, you know what you're getting into when you get this. The one thing I would say is there's a, a good bit of paint on here. Rekgar, I, I may have said the opposite earlier, the paint stands out on Rekgar a lot more because of those flames and the gold and the orange. This is missing something within like the engine compartment there. So some of you guys may want to hit that up with a brush or maybe wait for some toy hack stuff. Me, I'm fine with it. It doesn't hurt me at all. I'm probably not going to customize this or get an upgrade kit for it. It's going to sit just the way it is right now for the duration. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. You guys have no idea what it means to reviewers like me and the other guys out there when you take time to watch our videos it means everything special shout out to my channel members whose names you will see scrolling up in the outro please take a second and watch those names scroll because those guys really went the extra mile and became channel members uh, if you're interested in becoming a channel member click the join link below this video or the link in the description there's other ways to help the channel of course subscribing liking sharing and now there's a new option called the Super Thanks, which means as you watch the video, you can click that and donate to the channel. Every little bit helps. Thank you guys so much. Be sure to subscribe to the other Rejecticon, Sardo News for 82, Larkin Slayer, and Inu Tabi. And until next time, this is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut.